It's kind of ironic that I'm giving my final formal address as mayor here in the book Cadillac. Now, this is the same place where I was first introduced to Detroit. The Pistons offices were downstairs and I stayed in this hotel for two nights. I also signed my first contract here, which by the way, wasn't worth very much. <laughs> About $15,000 a year. This afternoon, I want to talk about some of my administration's major accomplishments, as well as some of our challenges and disappointments. In 2009, I came into the office without the benefit of any type of trans any transition or information from the last administration. So I had to learn a very difficult job quickly, and a lot came by trial and error. Unless you've been lying under a rock, you know that corruption, pay to play, and scandal brought down the previous administration. It became a top priority to rebuild our citizens' trust in city government. I'm proud to say that we took on this enormous challenge and we successfully restored integrity and respect to the mayor's office. Transforming Detroit became our primary goal. Unfortunately, there were a lot of disappointments and roadblocks along the way. For instance, I had to follow the city charter, which was revised in 2010. Many of the changes were necessary, but some were overreactions to things that took place in the Kilpatrick administration. Therefore, in my opinion, the charter needs to be revisited. And believe me, many of those decisions were personally tough for me to make. Perhaps the biggest amongst them was having to lay off thousands of city employees. I knew the negative impact this would have on their livelihood and their families. Yet I also knew that downsizing city government was absolutely necessary for the city to survive. It was also disappointing that my office and city council did not see eye to eye on many issues. Our ability to work together for the betterment of the city was further hindered by the fact that three of its members resigned during the past year, including the president and the president pro tem. These departures left the council's leadership in disarray and impacted the entire body's decision-making ability. I'm proud to say that I didn't quit, nor did I run and hide. I stayed true to what the citizens of this city elected me to do. A lot of people ask me, how do I want to be remembered? Well, first of all, I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> So I'm not ready to become just a memory. <laughs> if anything, I would like the people of Detroit to understand how truly I care about this city. That's why I stepped up when new leadership was needed. I cared enough to come to the table with ideas and plans to restore hope and a winning spirit back to our city. To all those Detroiters who have, met, who have remained in our city during these very difficult times, let me say thank you. To all those who are making the decision daily to call Detroit their new home, I say welcome because Detroit is my home and it always will be. 